Okay, hello friendly bunch. Um, this video is for the friendly bunch to show how to upload the club profile to NetLogger. So that way when you plug in a call sign or a friendly bunch number, it automatically populates all the other information. Uh, this video can also be useful for anyone that wants to upload their uh, club profile information into NetLogger and share it, but uh, today we will be mentioning specifically the Friendly Bunch, however the steps are the same. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I've got to get the file. Um, you can create the file yourself and um, send it to others, but what we're uh, the perspective we're going to go from here is we're going to take a file that's already been created and we're going to put it into our NetLogger. So I'm going to start with the file that was emailed to me. And this is the uh, Friendly Bunch, and it's, uh, as you can see, it's a PRF file, uh, so it's compatible with NetLogger. So what you need to do is download this file and put that somewhere where you can find it in a few minutes. Um, I recommend that you uh, put it in a folder where you can find it, or just remember that it'll be in your downloads. Um, if you're a Windows 10 user, and got fairly new stuff. Uh, if you leave it in your downloads, uh, mine ranks everything by the date that it was was downloaded. So it's usually at the top of the list. But I, one thing I'm going to do too is I'm just going to minimize this screen. So this will be right here if I have to come back to it and put it somewhere else later to make it work easier, then I can do that. Next I'm going to open up my NetLogger application. I have mine saved down here in the toolbar. One thing I do when I'm calling a net or whatever, um, always the, the uh, log book down here, I just collapse it completely, that way I've got more screen, but that's a side note. Uh, so we're going to come up here to view, and then we're going to select directories. And as you can see, on my, we're looking for the config directory. directory. On my computer, this is where the, the NetLogger files are at. Um, if you look here where I'm pointing, this right here is what I've the name of my computer. Everything else on your computer should be the, exactly the same except for that right there. That's going to be different. Everything else, the C, the users, the app data, the roaming, and NetLogger should be exactly the same. So if you uh, if you're not if you're like me and you're not good at memorizing things uh, and not familiar with the program like I am now, jot this down or the easiest way is just take a picture of it with your uh, cell phone or something, unless you're unless you have dual screens, which I, I do, so I could actually go over here on the other screen and do stuff. But uh, anyway, this is the this is the information you're going to want to remember. You can't copy this for some reason, so you can't paste it later. So for right now, I'm just going to click OK and get rid of that. So what I'm looking for, as if you've written that information down, go down go to your uh, files and open that up and the first portion of that was C so you're going to look for uh, under this PC you're going to look for your C drive which is Windows C then you're going to go to users and then whatever your, the name of your computer so you're going to have two folders in here um, at least or every computer I ever had always did uh, so you're going to go to whatever the name of your computer whatever showed up there open that up and then app data. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit of a trick right here with Windows 10 you can skip all these other steps um, after you look up that directory um, simply by typing app data into the Windows search bar and right there it is and it'll take you straight to that folder. So there's two ways of doing that. You can go, go straight to it uh, that way or you can go through the steps that I showed you. I recommend if you have difficulty finding this, then start with the uh, the initial steps that I showed you. But anyway, if you follow along with me so far, then you're right here. Go to App Data. The next thing you're going to go to is Roaming. And then, at this point, we're going to find NetLogger. And you see all these files that are automatically generated for uh, NetLogger. I like to save check-in files for any kind of... Uh, net that I call or uh, of course friendly bunch but not being a net a group if I'm a controller I still want to save I know we don't like the term check-ins but that's where uh, NetLogger is going to going to put it the people that participate it'll go in that file and you can pull that up later 
But what we're looking for right now is miscellaneous profiles. That's this right here. This is where we want to put that file we just downloaded. So a couple different ways we could do that. Uh, we could go back here and pull up this. Um, if you have multiple screens like I do, you can grab this and drop it from one screen to the other, or you can just do like I'm doing right here. Minimize this screen to where it fits inside this one, drop it right there. It put a number two beside mine because I've done this uh, before and I went ahead and deleted everything out so I could show you all, but it still remembers that I've already done this. Yours will just simply say the friendly bunch. So we've added that, that's, that's where it's supposed to be. Now there's another step we've got to do in NetLogger. So let's get, rid let's get out of this and I can actually X my email out now and I'm gonna pull my NetLogger back up. And I want to go up here to setup, go to club profile. You hit this little drop down right here and you may have to scroll down. And I've got a couple files here that are not on the server. So this is another, this is a net that I call right here. And then of course the friendly bunch. And like I said, and I could go in there and get rid of that too. And I probably will. Yours will just say the friendly bunch most likely. So select the friendly bunch and hit select and boom, there you go. Um, make sure whenever you are a controller for the friendly, friendly bunch and you're going to log that it says the friendly bunch up here. If you go to um, a net or something like that, uh, whatever the net is, then that profile may pull up there, especially if you log for that uh, particular group or net, it may change to that profile. Um, so make sure if the only thing you do is, is log for the friendly bunch, then it probably won't ever change. Uh, I have to toggle back and forth between a couple nets. Okay, so here's what we can do. Once we get all that information loaded in, we've selected the profile and everything. We can type in the call sign of the station that we want to add to the list. And boom, all, all the information that uh, has been saved to that file is there. Alright, so the other feature that's going to make this handy is you can check a person in using just their friendly bunch number. However, you have to type that in. You can't type it in right here. See, if I put uh, number one in there and hit tab, nothing happens. I think that's a point of confusion for some people. Um, if you're under the, uh, the friendly bunch profile, everything goes in under call sign. So let's say uh, Bobby checks in with us. He's number one. And you can hit enter or tab. Type his number into the call sign box and hit enter. Um, same thing with anybody else, and I'm just picking a random number. I know about how high the numbers are going right now, so I'll just pick one, and boom. So there they there they go. Um, one thing I'll point out is I notice there's no club info in the remarks for uh, for him, but there is for some of the others. So that's kind of how the list was set up. Was uh, they didn't take that out on some of these, but that uh, you know that can be changed when you do uh, do the list and send it around, you can actually save the list without this information in there. That way, if you want to type your own remarks in, um, you know, controller information or, or whatever, whatever you need to put there for whatever reason, let's say they're uh, um, not at their home QTH and you just want to notate that. One, you can type not at home and then wherever they're at, you go over here under state and change it and that kind of thing. Uh, but hopefully that will uh, will help everyone um, get this set up that's going to be a controller. Uh, another thing that you may want to do, um, I'm not sure what the defaults are because it's been a long time. But go set up um, here where it says club profile and call book order and just double check and make sure, uh, especially under um, member ID and then uh, uh, let's see under uh, under some of these others as well make sure uh, but in particular member ID make sure club profile is checked and it's not none and then the rest of these what this is is uh, it shows you what's going to be priority like under uh, name so if I type in my call sign I don't have a friendly bunch of number at the moment so I type in N4NT right here it's going to look at the club profile first and see that there's nothing there. 
So when it doesn't find anything, then it's going to go to the QRZ call book and just go ahead and put that information in there. You can actually uh, you can actually set um, the order and you see what the options are. But that's that's a little extra above what I was looking to show on this particular video. But uh, if you have any questions or anything I can uh, help you with, or if you're controlling, you want me to forward you this list. Uh, my email is dye474 at gmail.com. I'll be glad to help you any way I can.